वेलकम बैक गाइज टू आर एंड्रॉइड प्रोग्रामिंग ट्यूटोरियल सीरीज ऑन टूल बार इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी लर्निंग अबाउट कस्टमाइजिंग आर टूल बार एंड द ओवरफ्लो मेन्यू वी ऑलरेडी नो दैट द टूल बार वॉज इंट्रोड्यूस्ड विद द एंड्रॉयड मटीरियल डिजाइन एंड हेंस इट इज यूज टू मेक आर एप मोर ब्यूटिफुल एंड अट्रैक्टिव एंड यूजर फ्रेंडली सो लेट्स बिगिन कस्टमाइजिंग आर टूल बार लेट एस फर्स्ट डिफाइन अ स्टाइल फॉर आर टूल बार एंड नेम इट एज my toolbar theme and let us define its parent as theme overlay dot app compact dot light now we already have the color primary for the toolbar background we need to change the color for the text in the toolbar now guys there are two attributes for the toolbar text one is the text color primary and the second is the text color secondary the text color primary is used to set the color for the titles or the text in the toolbar whereas the text color secondary is used to set the color of the overflow icon or the menu icons now let us define the text color primary and the text color secondary now i have defined the text color primary as white and the text color secondary also as white The text color primary is for the text color of the toolbar title as i already said and the text color secondary is the color of the overflow menu that is the three dot we see on the right side of the toolbar and the color of the navigation drawer icon let us run our application and see how the status of our toolbar has changed with the application of this theme but before this we also need to include this theme into our toolbar.xml until we do that there is no point in defining the theme in styles.xml so let us define the theme in the toolbar.xml i have included this theme in the toolbar.xml file same way we need to copy this theme inclusion statement in our toolbar.xml of layout v21 folder So guys I have defined this app and the custom schema so as to provide the backward compatibility to our application which uses the toolbar Now let us run our application and see how the status of the toolbar has changed Here is our application up and running on clicking the standalone toolbar we can see the color of our text have changed The title of the toolbar and the overflow menu icon has changed its color to white color. On clicking the overflow menu, the color of this menu items in the overflow menu is white in color and hence it matches with the background. So we cannot see the text that are present in the overflow menu. Now let us customize our pop-up menu or the overflow menu and see how we can change it. Now let us define two items here. first one to change the background of the pop up menu and the second one is to change the text color of the pop up menu this is how we can change the background color of our pop up menu let us define the overflow menu background in the colors.xml file now guys i have defined the color of the overflow menu background in colors.xml file The next item we need to define is the text color for the pop-up menu. Now, this is the text color primary that we have defined for the overflow menu text. Now, let us define this color for the text color primary in our colors.xml file. Now, guys, we are done with defining the color in the colors.xml file. We have customized the pop-up theme for our toolbar. Now let us include this pop-up theme into our toolbar.xml files. So guys, I have included the pop-up theme in my toolbar.xml. I will copy this code from the toolbar.xml of the layout and paste it in the toolbar.xml of layout v21. Now we are good to go. We have defined the styles in styles.xml. for our pop up theme we have also defined the theme for our toolbar now let us run our application and see whether it is working or not now guys here is our application up and running let us click to the standalone toolbar button 
and see what changes has occurred in our overflow menu. On clicking the overflow menu, we can see our background as well as the color of the text has changed. Previously, our toolbar theme had the text color primary and the text color secondary as white. That was the reason we weren't able to see this menu options in our overflow menu. Now, we have changed the pop-up theme with the background color and we also have changed the text color of our pop-up theme. And this is how we can customize our overflow menu and our toolbar as per our requirement and as per our wish. We need to set the theme and the color of the toolbar and the overflow menu so as to make our application more attractive. The user interface needs to be made as attractive and beautiful as possible. So guys, that's all for this video. We are done with the standalone toolbar. In the next video, we will be learning about implementing the toolbar as action bar. The codes are similar to the standalone toolbar and you need not worry about getting confused with the standalone toolbar and toolbar as action bar. So guys, till then, stay tuned. Thanks for watching and have a good day.